welcome all in this lecture we are going to learn about propagation constant and characteristic impedance so let's firstly discuss about propagation constant a propagation constant is defined as a change undergone by the amplitude and phase of a wave as it propagates in the given direction means that if the wave is propagating in a particular direction then the changes undergone by its amplitude and the phase is nothing but a propagation constant a propagation constant is denoted by the symbol gamma now let's come on to the next point that is characteristic impedance a characteristic impedance of a uniform transmission line is the ratio of amplitude of a voltage and the current of a single wave that is propagating in the given direction along the line so this is all about a basic introduction of the characteristic impedance and propagation constant now let us derive the formula or the expression for the propagation constant and the characteristic impedance in the previous lecture we have discussed the equation of voltage and current of transmission line in that we are dealing with this equation that is d by dz of v of z that is equals to minus r plus j omega l into i of z this is the equation that we derived in the derivation of equation of voltage and current now we will derive the expression for characteristic impedance and propagation constant based on this equation only so if you want to find out the value of i of z then i of z will be equals to minus 1 over r plus j omega l d by dz of v of z since in the voltage equation we derived that voltage equation is nothing but v of z that is equals to v not plus e to the power minus gamma z plus v not minus e to the power plus gamma z so this is the voltage equation if we substitute the value of v of z in the above expression we get i of z equals to minus 1 over r plus j omega l d by dz of v not plus e to the power minus gamma z plus v not minus e to the power plus gamma z let's differentiate this whole term so the value of i of z will now become minus 1 over r plus j omega l and differentiation of e to the power minus gamma z will become minus gamma multiplied with v not plus as a constant and e to the power minus gamma z plus differentiation of e to the power gamma z will become gamma into v not minus e to the power plus gamma z so this is our equation of i of z and if we take gamma as a common then it will become i of z equals to we take gamma as a common factor and multiply this minus sign inside the bracket r plus j omega l it become v not plus e to the power minus gamma z minus v not minus e to the power gamma z 
so this is the equation of 1 since the equation of current that we derived in the previous lecture is equals to I of Z equals to I naught plus e to the power minus gamma Z plus I naught minus e to the power plus gamma Z and in terms of the voltage this I of Z can also be written as V naught plus over Z naught e to the power minus gamma Z plus V naught minus over Z naught e to the power plus gamma Z here Z naught is our characteristic impedance and this is the expression of I of Z now if we compare this equation number 1 and equation number 2 then we get the value of Z naught is equals to R plus J omega L over gamma because this Z is in denominator so we will get a reciprocal of this term so this is R plus J omega L into gamma over gamma sorry and in the derivation of equation of voltage and current for the transmission line we also assume that gamma square is equals to r plus j omega l g plus j omega c so from this expression value of gamma will now become under the root r plus j omega l g plus j omega c this is the value of gamma so this is nothing but propagation constant So in this way we derive the expression for propagation constant and also the characteristic impedance expression is equals to Z naught equals to R plus J omega L over gamma. If we substitute the value of gamma in this expression then it will become Z naught equals to R plus J omega L over under the root R plus J omega L G plus J omega C if we simplify this expression then it will become Z naught equals to under the root R plus J omega L G plus J omega C so this is the expression for characteristic impedance so in this way we deal with propagation constant and characteristic impedance also with this introduction and its derivation part. Thank you.